What's the 411 TV? Today we have vocal powerhouse Terrell T Rex Simon sitting with us today. They're coming all the way from ATL. Yes, yes. What's up, Terrell? What's good? What's Hi, good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Thank you for having me. Thank you. So let me tell you, I have to ask, where'd you get the name T Rex from? Okay. Uh, I actually got the name T Rex from my boss, Life Jennings. Mm -hmm. um, the I'm, Life Jennings. The Life Jennings. Mm -hmm. um, when we met, uh, he was in the weeds all hanging out. He was like, you're the only guy in the crew that don't have a nickname. And I was his favorite singer. He used to always be like, you a beast, you a beast, you a beast. Perfect name. You know, that's the, <laughs> I'll the, come in the at slang you. ghetto word for somebody that's really good at something. Mm -hmm. all right. So he was like, we're going to call you T-Rex. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, really? That's you different. Like, like a dinosaur. dinosaur. Yeah, like the yeah. dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My name's yeah, Terrell, dope. starts with a T, and he... T-Rex Tyrannosaurus or whatever it's called. And, uh, but don't mistake, it's Terrell T-Rex Simon yes. now. Yes. And that's how T-Rex was born. Evolved, yes. Nice. Very nice. So what's your musical background? Um, Church. Church? Yeah. Church, church boy. Church, church, church came from, from the choir. I'm, I'm, I'm from upstate New York. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, my grandmother used to drag me to church every week, and I hated it. And the only part of the service that I liked was the singing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. You know, and after singing, once the preacher get up there, I was going to sleep. Mm -hmm. you, know, you didn't so want anyone to upstage you? Was you in the front doing the vocals? I never had were, you doing, were you doing the vo vocals? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I never really had. I never really, really wanted to fight my way or be jealous about being in the front. Mm -hmm. You know, God will get you there. You didn't want the competition. Like, you <laughs> do my own thing. <laughs> no, nah, your gift will make room for you. Mm -hmm, exactly. You know, it's enough out here for all of us. Do you, do you play any instruments? I don't play any instruments. I you tried to play the keyboard and my hands and my mind wasn't working <laughs> together, so I quit. Really? Your voice is your only instrument as of now. Yes, my voice is my only instrument. It's a very good instrument. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you I, that we, we listened to the um, In His Image song. In His Image. Oh my God, you guys have to check that out on YouTube. Oh, you check it out on SoundCloud because Anywhere. it's amazing. Your it's music's amazing. everywhere now. My yeah. music is everywhere on mm -hmm. iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. Mm -hmm. I just got my own Pandora station. You got your own Pandora station? I just oh, got you still gotta follow her. Congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Just got my own Pandora station. Um, and you can actually order CDs from Amazon. Well, I'm cool. old school. I like CDs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we in a digital time. But I used to like going to the store, having my CDs, my CD case, my CDs stacked up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It was just, you get more so you can see more. So I wanted to make sure that people could get a CD as well. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So when did you get your first break? I got my first break auditioning for life. Okay. First? It's all life, 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 but you know, it's, it's my that story. How long have you been working with him? Since he's the beginning of his career. Mm -hmm. Since... It must be nice? Since 268. Do you guys have a, a friendship, like a relationship? Nice. How'd you meet him? I met him through a mutual friend we had at Sony. Mm -hmm. And um, he said, life is looking for singers. And I was like, really? He said, yeah. I said, when? He said, right now. It's like 9 o'clock wow. in the morning. Uh -huh. I got up, got dressed. He said, get down there. Went down there. I'm thinking it was just going to be me and life. It was uh -huh. 100 people there. Really? Wow. And That's I was just audition. like, wow. I got to go through this. I'm never going to get it. And I end up And, and that tells you to stick with it, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 I end up getting it. What other artists have you worked with? Yeah. Um, from working with life and people who see my work, um, Neo. Uh, I did MTV Unplugged with Neo. Mm -hmm. Did some shows with Neo. Yeah, that was like the highlight of my life yeah. because they actually stopped doing MTV Unplugged. Mm -hmm. All right. And the day that I was coming home for my last day with Tour of Life, they called me and asked me if I could go do it. Wow. And I was like, well, what is it? They was like, MTV Unplugged. I was like, wow. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You know, because growing up as a kid, you know, they Infamous. always had that. Yes. Yes. Infamous. Um, mm -hmm. Wyclef, mm -hmm. uh, Mario. Wow. Uh, Sharifa, Emily King, just a lot. Day 26, uh, Shalik. And do you tour with them? How long do you stay out? When you well, you know what? I got in the business being a background singer. Mm -hmm. So I was traveling with life being a background singer. Then I became a music director. Mm -hmm. Then I became a vocal coach. So I was working for Day 26. I was a music director. Uh, a lot of the other guys, I was just singing background. Will we be able to catch you on the show? P. Diddy show, Making the Band? Yeah, when you was working with them? No, you know what? I actually started working with them after the show went off, yeah, okay, and they left Diddy, mm -hmm. and uh, they got signed to Atlantic Records, and they were just trying to form a whole. What's group, a yeah. what team. is a music director? It's a, like, mu a music director. His job is to hire a band, mm -hmm. singers, and just put the show together. Okay, okay, you know, and um, the ideas and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, and I just got really good at 
for mm-hmm. being on a lot, so many tours mm-hmm. of knowing what's on to go first, second, third, fourth, mm-hmm. you know, when to drop out, when to drop in, when the lights come down. And oh I just got gosh. really good at it. Mm-hmm. And people just started calling me, you to know, do to do yeah. that. So I don't got so many musicians jobs, mm-hmm. so many singers jobs in New York um, because everybody was calling me. Yeah. What is R and G? What's R and G? R and G is a genre that I made up. <laughs> That's right. And he will be. And, and he could do that. <laughs> rhythm and gospel. Yes. Nice. Yes. You know, um, I say I'm a church boy, um, but I love hip hop music. Mm-hmm. So it's just yeah. the church and the hip hop mm-hmm. mixed together, mm-hmm. but the message is still about God. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, you know. Um, and it's I took the B out because it's no blues. Mm-hmm. Right, right, sad. right. No, the no sad anymore. Sad. Right. We it's, we it's all inspiration. It makes you feel good after you listen to the song. You feel like the song. You feel like you can conquer the world. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. So R and G, and uh, it's actually. It's moving out. Like, catching, everybody's like, yo, this, on. you just started something. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a dope. Dope. You're a good inspiration mm-hmm. yeah. 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 for all yeah. the people yeah. who want to get into religion yeah. as well. Yeah. So who's their, like, your their favorite artist that you've worked with so far to date? Has to be Life Chippens. Has to be Life I learned so much from him. Um, I actually was his assistant. Right. And mm-hmm. partly was managing him at one time. Uh-huh. So not only was I his background singer, but he took me to his meetings at Sony. Mm-hmm. You know, I was in all the meetings. I was in all his private little things that background singers don't get to see. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah, so I learned a lot of the business. Yeah, get to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and later, on, we ended up moving in. Like his, that's that's like my. You guys drew a, a real relationship. Yeah. Your brother from another mother. Mm-hmm. And I'm actually still on tour with him to this day. Oh, wow. I gotta go meet him Saturday. We're in uh, Atlanta. What are you guys doing out there? What will you have coming up? I have so much coming up. I'm. My Instagram is T-Rex0506. Follow, follow, follow. follow Check him out. Um, <laughs> well, we're going to at you anyway, and then you just yes, gonna, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. T-Rex0506, that's also my Twitter. And my Facebook is T-Rex Sings, T-R-E-X-S-I-N-G-S. Mm-hmm. And um, I'll put everything on there. If I, there was, I have a great relationship with the people. You have like a thousands and thousands of followers. Like I have, have I'm now media. at 60,000. Good wow. for you. Wow. Nice. Social media is perfect now. Like it's awesome. Awesome. Right. And down. It's, it ain't no same. tricks. I ain't got no people Steve. pushing me. It's all word of mouth. People love the music. Yes. And they are sharing it with everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On people on their job. When they, that's great. You know, and I think that's a great method of selling your music yeah. are you because doing like an album release party or anything like that it's out i already did all that you did oh, you didn't oh invite anyone oh, you didn't invite us <laughs> 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 yes, we want to go i didn't go. know then. you're going to have another one i did a uh, <laughs> you're gonna have, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a party for you you have a re-release exactly. <laughs> i did one in atlanta I did one in Atlanta and I did one in New York. Oh, we missed it. Damn. We missed two. that. Damn. Oh, well. We have more to come, so we'll be at the next one. Don't forget. Yes, yes, yes. 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 If there was one artist that you could work with, who would it be? Wow, that's a good question. In dead or alive? World. Dead or alive? We have to have a dead one. Well, and the alive, alive first. One. Dead alive, alive first, and then it would have the, to be the Dave, Dave Hollister. Oh, really? I am. Wow. Really? A a die voice. hard big fan of Dave Hollister. Really? Wow. And last year. I sitting on my couch, minding my business, and my phone rang. I mean, he's that's my idol. Dave Hollister. Dave he's a great Hollister. Voice, Dave Hollister. And if you hear me, so listen. I am. Might I'm really surprised. Hear a little bit. I mean, he's a gospel artist now, but he's still doing R&B. Oh, oh, he is. Because yeah, yeah. I know he was doing something. Well, they have a lot coming. He then. said God has anointed him to sing to everybody. Okay, good, good. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I was laying, sitting on my couch, and my phone rang, and they're like, "Where you at?" And I'm just like, I'm in New York. Just like, oh my God, we need you right now. And I'm just like, what you need me for? Oh, one of the singers can't do it, and they told me to call you. And I'm just like, oh, okay, well, who was it for? She was like, Dave Hollister. Yeah, I, I know you was like, get dressed! <laughs> Erica was there. <laughs> I Erica. jumped up out front. <laughs> went around Erica the house, she there. actually taped it. I just couldn't <laughs> believe it. I was oh just like, God. wow. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And when oh I got God. there, Praise him. he was, you know, you can really respect mm-hmm. somebody and like them and you meet them and they have a nasty attitude mm-hmm. and just mm-hmm. you're like, ugh, I don't like you no more. But right. he was humble and we sat down and we started singing together. He was like, you sound like me. Mm-hmm. And then um, we, That's did, a we did Central it. Park last year and we did, uh, he took me to D.C. with him. Wow. So I worked with him, uh-huh. but I'm talking about on a record. Yeah. Oh, you know right. you want a collaboration like, with him. Dave collaboration. Hollister is the truth, man. Well, Dave, you better hit him up. That's right, this, Dave. This yeah. star <laughs> is not coming back down, honey. <laughs> I can yeah. feel it. Big shot to Dave Hollister. Okay, so what about someone dead? Someone dead? Yes. Whitney Houston. 
Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Like Wait, there's just, well, she what else can you say? Voice. There's no yeah. other yeah. person. She's legend. Yeah, yeah that's legendary. done it. And you know what I liked about Whitney? She was cool. Mm -hmm. She was down to earth. Yes. You know, she was funny. She was mm -hmm. giddy. She was. She wasn't what they you know, sold us. Right. Right. She wasn't what they sold us. Mm -hmm. well, you know, that's and that's a big problem with a lot of artists. That's why I'm just like, I'm glad I'm on my own label. I'm doing it myself. Mm -hmm. I get to pick what songs I want to come out. I get to pick what I want to do. And, and I get to be me. Mm -hmm. And who you want to do it with, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's um, right. What's cool. your favorite song? on the album my favorite song on the album i really like them all <laughs> really exactly the same does. much you know what uh, yeah, I, I hate track number of three. course <laughs> in, <laughs> it, it, anyway. in his image it's just one of those records when you hear it you automatically <laughs> like it as soon as it comes. you don't want to switch to any were you going to listen to the all them all the way through no he said in in, in his, his image, image mm -hmm. um my single is definitely one of my favorites and power Mm -hmm. You know, power. You, you, you gotta hear it. It's it's very very um, enlightening. You know, and a lot of kids love it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of adults love mm -hmm. it. That's good. You See, know, if so. you love all your music, everyone else is gonna love your music. Absolutely. Only put right. out the greatest. But I can truly say, and I'm not just saying this because of my music. I really Did am time. shocked at mm -hmm. how the music came out. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Tell us this. Oh, sorry. No, I was just gonna say the live thing and the studio thing is different. Mm -hmm. Right. You can be a great live singer. And I know so many fantastic live singers, yeah. but they cannot get in the studio and make a record. Why? Because the, really? the, because the inspiration isn't there? Because just, they're fearful? Because it's different? You know, Why? You just, you, it's, it's techniques that you have to learn when you're in the studio yeah. with the booth. Okay. And right. You can't just get in there and... Ah! Well, it is, it is both ways, too. Because a lot of people say studio singers can't sing good live at all. Like right. They can't sing for their life. Right. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Name any so names. it's good to have both. <laughs> and thank God I got both. You know, because I love the live. I love the live. Mm -hmm. I actually hate the studio. I really yeah. don't like being in the studio. Really? Why? Is it like just you're working? Yeah. Right? No, like I have ADD. <laughs> so my legit ADD or you no, just have like, I just no. You just say it. I can't. It. No, say I can't my my attention <laughs> span that. of sitting in one place for such a like. I, it's, it's oh, hard but let's me. let's hurry. I don't want to keep you stuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm selling my I'm selling my record right now. <laughs> take all day. Oh, <laughs> just <start twitching. laughs> Tell I us can't about take the it. video. How did you come up with the concept? Because the the dancers are pristine. Well, you know what? I've been background singing all my life, but mm -hmm. I was a dancer first as a what? kid. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And I went in church to, or formal and formal. Praise dance. Not in church. Oh. Praise oh. Oh. Like hip hop. I did try to get a praise dance. dance. I went to a dance. Well, I thought it was corny, so I was like, I'm not praise dancer. I did once. He was like praise. So were you like a hip hop dancer? Yes, hip hop dancer. Okay. And that's really was my goal when I was a child. I was like, I'm going to be a dancer. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know Pop I mean? locking and, and um, all that good stuff. I started stuff. singing and I was like, you know what? I'm going to put the dance in. You had, your boy was on the show the other day. Yes. Old tail. That, he's What's a up, Doc? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do a lot. Of, we grew up in New York singing together at all the underground. Really? Yeah, he's very yeah. talented. He is very talented. Yeah. yeah. So right. what advice would you give someone um, who is inspiring to become an artist? Wow. I mean, I would... The advice that I would give someone that's aspiring to, to do anything, I say, you got to know your purpose. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? I say we have a lot of gifts and we mm -hmm. are we have a lot of things that we can do. Right. But um, just because you can play basketball really good, that don't mean you're supposed to be in the NBA. Right. 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 You know what I mean? Right. Right. So if you are 100 percent sure with your purpose, have a relationship with God, and you are and you know for a fact that's what you've been called to do, it'll happen. Mm -hmm. You just it gotta happens. keep working. Discipline. You know? Someone but but that. have that relationship, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people get the purpose and the talents and gifts all mixed up. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I say that first. Know your know your purpose, man. If, I knew this is what God called me. I to totally do. agree. That's right. that's so exactly you know. How you no matter it. what the time frame was, you know, I just had to keep working. Mm -hmm. You know, because I knew this is what it was. You have to be the one who who believes in it, because no one yes. else will. That's what's going to keep you going, basically. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know that can even be tricky too. Because you can still believe in something all That's you want true. to. That's not true if you don't have a connection. <laughs> you know, connection. some people don't just know. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a lot of friends and people that come to me and they're doing albums and they're singing. And I'm just like, 
they don't perceive people wasting all their time. <laughs> well, something Running Steve Harvey there. had said. He said, um, "Do what you do best at with the with the, the least, least work, effort. Right. with the least mm-hmm. effort." And mm-hmm. that's because some people say, "Yeah, we have these dreams," but I always mm-hmm. feel like you only live one life. If you know that you have a purpose that mm-hmm. that you feel in your heart, you may may suck at it. Still doing it aside because right. you never know and, what's gonna and happen. And try a couple things. Because I got to a point at one time where I thought, when I started doing business for mm-hmm. life, and I was assistant, I was um, helping manage him. I got to the point where I was like, I'm good at this. Right. Maybe this is, maybe this is maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. And I had totally, me being an artist was not a year or two ago was nothing that I was thinking of. And all of this happened so in, in two years. This all happened in one year. Wow. Okay, well, so this is what we probably need to do now. Yeah. We probably need to get your handles out so that people know. Yes, about right. Music. Just give us a little drop. Yeah. Right. You, where, you need to give a drop so that people know exactly where to find you. But okay. I have a quick mm-hmm. question. I want to know since you. Since you were content with being life's um, his assistant, when did you feel like okay, it's calling me? I feel like I want to be an artist. I feel like I need to go out and give a message to everyone. Well, you know, and sing my heart out. What happened was life had ended up going back to jail. Right. And I had been working here for all my life, and I just got to a point where I was like, well, what am I gonna do? So I said, let me get my own artist. Mm-hmm. So I went and I formed a relationship with Shalik. Mm-hmm. And um, was working with Shalik. Sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, Sounds we, I familiar. think I brought Shalik. We've done something with Shalik here on the show. New before. York. He's from. Yeah. Okay, I think I know who you're talking about. And um, his album was over, and God came to me and said it's time. And right. I'm just like, well, I don't yeah. want to do this. I don't want to be an artist. <laughs> you know. Wow. And um, I knew it was going to be gospel music because I just wanted to be true to myself and real. Well, right. who I am. Absolutely. You know, I'm not the type of guy to be on stage. Like, <laughs> let me think, you know. Don't be a sellout. <laughs> like, no, what are you doing? Don't be a sellout. Not, 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 not even in that, you know, it's, I, I, I was, I'm ready, I was ready for this. Right. You know, I'm ready for ministry and I was just ready to just, I said, God, if I'm do it, I have to sing about you. Okay. I'm pretty okay. sure let's, you'll, let's you'll be better it. being real than being fake, right? Yeah. Exactly. Now, where can we get the music? Where can we get the music? You can get my EP hashtag eight new beginnings um, on iTunes, Amazon, all digital outlets, and you can actually order the CD on Amazon.com. Yes, thank you so much. And let everyone know where they can find you. So much. Instagram. 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 Twitter is T Rex O five O six T R E X zero five zero six, and my Facebook is T Rex Sings T R E X. S I N G S. And he will be going live on Facebook tomorrow. Yes. And are you performing in New York at SOBs? I'm going to be doing um, Soul Village with Eric Robeson coming up. Okay. I have a bunch of shows coming up. Just follow him so if they Just follow, follow, him, him, follow him. Follow him mm-hmm. so you can find Everybody out where come he'll sing, you know? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Shout out to you. Thank you for coming Thank by. Thank you for coming by. What's the 401 so TV? Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Bye, guys. What's the 401 TV?